Good evening. It is good to see many of us gathered here today. It's good to remember the importance of Good Friday. So now we're gonna set apart this time and space and acknowledge it as worship. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, I might be looking over to uh, allow a few more people in who might be late. We're uh, a church that often gathers late for church on a Sunday. So uh, while people don't have to find parking today, um, we still might have some uh, stragglers. So if I uh, am distracted, it's because I'm trying to get those folks in. So. Um, Thank you for your patience. This is a new thing that we are doing here. And uh, so I hope that it is a blessing to you uh, as it has been um, to me in preparing this time together. You know, it's a poignant time to remember the death of Christ in the midst of a pandemic. So many people in our own city here have died from COVID-19 and countless more have been infected. That is nothing to say of those around the globe who have been struck and impacted by this pandemic. We acknowledge that this evening. And as a way to settle into this meditation, I'm going to invite you to join me in doing a breath prayer. It's a simple way to pray. When you inhale, you say, Jesus Christ, Son of God. And when you exhale, you say, have mercy on me, a sinner. Again, it's Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I invite you to close your eyes as we pray this together. Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. As I've been reflecting this holy week, I'm mindful that people die every day, not just from this virus, but from other diseases and tragic accidents from malnourishment and war and old age. Death is part of life. Join me once again in the breath prayer. Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Life is taking on a variety of new cadences. Essential workers are busier than ever, while others are longing for employment. The vulnerable hunker down. Children play alone when they're not online. And we all wait. With a strange mix of gratitude and grief, of courage, 
of fear, of uncertainty, and of hope. And we love one another the best we can, as Jesus teaches, as Jesus lived, and as Jesus died. Lord Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. This evening, the text is selections from Matthew 27. I'm going to be reading it from the message paraphrase. Here now, the story of the crucifixion as told by Matthew. The soldiers assigned to the governor took Jesus into the governor's palace. He got the entire brigade together for some fun. They stripped Jesus and they dressed him in a red toga. And they plaited a crown from branches and a thorn brush and set it on his head and they put a stick in his right hand for a scepter. And then they knelt before him in a mocking reverence. Jesus Christ, have mercy on me, a sinner. They mocked him and said, Bravo, King of the Jews, bravo. And then they spit on him. They hit him on the head with a stick. And when they had had their fun, they took off the toga and put his own clothes back on him. And then they proceeded out to the crucifixion. Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us, a sinner. After they had finished nailing him to the cross, they were waiting for him to die. And while they waited, they took turns by throwing dice for his clothes. And above his head, they pasted the criminal charge against him. This is Jesus, King of the Jews. Along with him, they also crucified two criminals, one to his right and the other to his left. People passing along the road jeered, shaking their heads in mocking lament. From noon to three, the whole earth was dark. Around mid-afternoon, Jesus groaned out of the depths, crying loudly, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And then Jesus, crying out loudly, breathed his last. The earth quaked. The rocks were split into pieces. And the captain of the guard and those with him when they saw the earthquake and everything else that was happening, they were scared to death. And they said, this has to be the Son of God. Thanks be to God for his word. This Friday, as we remember the death of Jesus, I hold on to a hidden hope. It's not yet in the resurrection, but it's in the crucifixion, in the tragedy of it, in the grief that it caused, 
in the fear that it ignited. In it, I find hope. Hope that God in Christ lived and suffered and died. It's one of the astounding claims of Christianity. We worship a God who is familiar with life and death. Not as some unembodied idea or notion, but the real, physical, flesh-ripping, heart-breaking way. God knows our longings. He knows our fears. And he knows our grief. And yes, as we await a celebration of resurrection and of life's tenacious power, right now, for me, Friday's good. The God we remember today is enough. Will you please join me in prayer? Almighty God, look with loving mercy on your children, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed, to be given over and to suffer death on the cross, and who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Peace and health to each of you until we do meet again.